Hi everybody and welcome back to Ukrainian Gaming. I'm Andy and today we play some Hard Survival 4, not step back with the Soviet Union. It's June 1941 and the Barbaros operation has just started. Uh, fun fact, <laughs> the British uh, Empire is trying to take Sardinia. That's funny. The side of that, in Africa, Vichy France conquered completely um, Okay, the, the north uh, of the Free France, which is kind of funny because now Free France conquered uh, um, Ethiopia and the United Kingdom is fighting in Africa and keeping still Egypt and the Middle East. In Turkey, of course, we are uh, the, the owners. We left Romania for dead and uh, the German Reich now uh, conquered all Romania and now they are approaching the uh, Dnieper and... Uh, uh, oh, I, can, I never remember something that ends with Oltava uh, River um, and at the same time we have lost Istanbul so fine that's not a big deal uh, we will try to keep Istanbul here and we still have around 20 divisions that have to be deployed before we start working on the armored divisions good I want to see when a battle happens because I want to see the statistics of my of my guys I'm pretty really curious about that. Here we go. 1,431. <laughs> Due to intel, intel advantage entrenchment county commander skill. We have also the enemy air superiority reduction due to our anti-air. And as I told you guys, this is really good. And entrenchment is amazing. So it works quite fine so far. Now we're bringing seven divisions here to avoid uh, to avoid the jump between Istanbul East and Istanbul West. But ooh, we have wow, we have a lot of air experience. So let me take the aircraft service and the agility of our fighters. Amazing, really. And now that we have the the pilot training program, we move right away and we get desperate measures, which will give us a lot of bonuses that we will use against the Germans. Fine. Desperate measures will take only 35 days. So, uh, I see the light at the end of the tunnel, meaning the radars are all now level 5, and we will have more uh, bunkers around the Stalin line. So, after that, we will be working uh, mostly on uh, military factories in all the territories with a 100%. Infrastructure. And then we will move to the 80, and then we will move to the 60. Which I see, there are not so many. Yeah, perfect. That's gonna uh, give us, uh, of course, the possibility then to build a lot of tanks, and especially also airplanes. Great. Great, great, great. Let me have a look at the strategic air. Mm, more control. More, more ground control. We have to boost this because it's great that we see uh, yellow and not red, but I would really like this to stay yellow or green. So if we have the control of the skies uh, in Belarus and Ukraine, that's good for us. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very simple for our enemy to take control. By the way, the Greece didn't capitulate yet. Didn't capitulate yet. So I might assume that there are some Germans and British fighting here. Might it might be. Great thing. Great, great, great. Okay. They're extremely slow. It's uh, almost July and they didn't reach yet Vitesk. Um, I'm happy about that. I'm not, com I'm not complaining about that. Let's take now the extensive conscription. Uh, we will have much more manpower soon. Total mobilization and massive conscription. Very good. Now we see the Mongolian troops that are moving into Turkey to protect the coast. Of course, this is just a problem now. I, I, I might... I should have probably puppeted Turkey, but I was reading that there are issues sometimes. There are issues and uh, Turkey is getting free. It's breaking free. Okay, let's see. 
Let's see what happens. Now the German uh, airplanes should be close to us, but it seems that we are keeping quite well and it seems also that in this airport there is nothing protecting. So we are now moving the next block of aircrafts here in Ukraine, doing everything what is necessary. Wonderful. As you can see, our industry works quite well. We can deploy now a lot of aircrafts and if we are good enough and we block the the push of the Germans, then we will have a really, really, really good time. A real, really good time. And look at this. Now we are already, we started the industrialization. I'm not going to convert my civilian factories into military, honestly. Not yet, at least. Not yet. I have only 100 sieves. And maybe I can expand a little bit more this uh, second full decline. And we have the engineer level three. Engineers level three are going to give us also more entrenchment. Everything is fine. Everything is very good. Let's upgrade also the anti-air. So just for information, now one Infantry division in Russia can be entrenched till 1185. Eh, that's pretty good. Welcome to World War One. I. <laughs> I think they might they might be able to uh, they might be able at a certain point to, to 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 break the lines, but still, I consider it interesting, right? What is missing? So anti-air 1300, but I don't want to push too much the production because I I don't want to waste it. I know I have a lot of artillery and uh, support equipment now is not that bad. What if I, pu I, I boost my... Uh... No, not really train. If I give now the logistic company to the tanks, I think I might be able to use the support equipment. Absolutely. And we did it. And we did it. Great. Very good. Now we can boost again our Doctrine, air superiority plus 15%. I think it was a very good idea to, to boost our Air Force, because you can see, I mean, that's not that bad. We keep the control in Greece, in Ukraine and in, in Belarusia. It's July, of course, when the border will be closed. It's not going to be so simple, probably, but so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, and the German logistic is really, really crappy at the moment. Okay, we have desperate measures in about two days, which grants mobilization, mobilization speed, training time uh, for one year, and we can unlock some great patriotic war decisions, which are obviously giving us a big help. For example, the adaptable army, is going to be the next one. And one decision, raise factories, worker, raise civilian labor. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use the staggered retreat, but I will need 15% surrender progress before I do the staggered retreat. And for the time being, I have only a 13%. Once um, the Germans will take the full control of Ukraine, maybe we'll be able to use this order. And that's going to be helpful for us. It's going to be very helpful. The United States joined the war. Yes, sir. July 41, the US entered the war, entered the party. Uh, <laughs> okay, and we keep building military factories. Amazing. As you can see here now, the Germans left only eight, nine divisions in, uh, in Istanbul. I don't think they will try to push. I really don't think they will try to push. And uh, by the way, I see Greeks and uh, British and uh, Australian troops in Greece. So it might be that we have the control of the Mediterranean. For, so in Turkey, I should not be worried. But anyways, I'm not that worried, but I, I'm still cautious. So 
Let's see. Uh, I want to have a look at... Uh, I pause now the game. I want to have a look at the production because, I, as I said, I have 20 factories to one tier. I'm going to say 15, and that would be it. Um, then for the improved artillery, support equipment, we decrease to 5. That will bring the closer support to 10 and the fighter level 2 to 20. So the closer support will go to uh, 15. And for this reason, I will be in need for more aluminium that I'm going to import from the US and more rubber that I'm going to import from Malaysia. Fine. Now I have a look again. Yeah, sure. Everything looks okay. Let me see if I can just maybe boost a little bit here. No, not yet. Not yet. I, I redeployed all the airplanes that I needed, that I had, and I cannot do that much. Fine. Good, good, good. Ace pilot promoted. Good. Oh, we captured the German spy. Where are our spies? Are they back now to... No, they're fine. That's great. Let's try to do some operation. For example, we could try to plan false intelligence, which might be useful. Uh, in Berlin. If we prepare false intelligence, the Germans will think that we have much more divisions and uh, that's, okay. that's that's not bad, that's not bad. It can be useful. Beside of that, now I'm thinking when I will have run about 50 um, experience points for the army, I will uh, uh, design my tank division and that's going to be fun. So, it seems that Germany is having a very bad time, a very hard time uh, penetrating into Ukraine because as you can see now it's August and they didn't take the control of the uh, city of Nikopetrovsk. They just stopped. They tried to push but they don't manage. That's because I blew up all Romania, Ukraine and Belarusia and I control the skies and I am also with the cars bombing their logistics. I'm not saying that this will be the case forever. Maybe at a certain point in time, they will be able to strike back. But so far, it makes me happy. I don't know what you think about it, but that makes me very happy. So now we keep building military factories. So we need more, of course, we need more material to go. I think extraction level four will be the next one that I do. Nope, not, no, no, you go here. Not in Izmir. Great. Great, great, great. How many? Oh, still two divisions. Okay, fine. I think, I, I think we're done with infantry. I think we're done with infantry, which means uh, I don't need really to build so much anti-air and... I, I will not use the anti-air in my... My tanks. Now let's see. Great. I really want to see. I, I, I'm really amazed by the fact that Germany cannot push forward here. <laughs> that, that, that's seriously amazing. They have a too low organization to advance. And uh, you know what? If I had now the, the tanks, I would tr I could try to push them back somehow, but I don't, unfortunately. What I'm going to do also, which I forgot, is to build a, um, a, a transport planes. Maybe I will do four, three, three factories for the tra uh, transport planes because they will be useful to provide uh, with uh, 
uh, logistics when the situation is very difficult. Let's see. Okay. Bulgarian reintegration in what? Look at this Italy. Look at what they, they have all the Yugoslavia, half of Greece and part of Bulgaria and Romania. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of experience and I see green now in the skies of Belarusia. Now Chernigov, which is a very big airport, soon will give us uh, some more air wings and we will control our skies better. Look, when they are attacking, okay, they are, okay, in this case, that's too late because only one infantry um, division remained, but we have things like this and I always like to take a photo just to show defense 1,669 is massive. Some is due to the entrenchment, some is because of the inter advantage and then the country and the commander skill. And really, it's uh, it's a base value of 500 uh, tripled due to, the, uh, to, our, to our bonuses. I love it. I just love it. Pity that I cannot use the staggered retreat, uh, but that's fine. I don't have enough capitulation points. Maybe that's the reason why Germany is not advancing. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Adapter army. We will have it soon. We will give us less winter attrition and heat attrition and uh, more acclimatization and a lesser ter terrain penalty. So when we fight on the hills, when we fight on the mountains, uh, when we fight in general, we will not have. Oh, let's import something from Vichy France. Why not? Come on, friends. Give me the aluminium that I will use to bomb your, your German buddies. This is ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, Iceland just joined the party. And now we have finally 100 military factories in use. Great thing, great thing. Um, we have, of course, also to fix the... Mm -hmm. We have to fix a lot of railways. I'm really wondering where are the Germans now? I think they moved their army here and there. And also the Italians. Because they're very slow. They advance very slow and soon it would be October and November. So not bad. Not bad at all. So it seems that our our trains are doing quite well. I'm wondering if I should really also power up a little bit more the sky with more anti-air since I mean since the industry allows me why not we just leave to no cancel uh we just uh, give an, another for the factories and then we go back and we build more anti-air. This is going really to stop the, the strength of the Germans. Not sufficient resources, yeah, this is, I know why. One, two and three. And now we cancel this one here. Perfect. What can I do? War propaganda, war bonds. Oh, yes, sir. Minus 5%, why not? Another German operative captured. <laughs> I love it. So, did we finish um, planting the false intelligence? No, we will do it probably. Uh, we will be ready in December. If everything works, fine. Okay, I'm amazed. I'm just amazed. Look at this. <laughs> Guys, the British army is trying to, um, it's, it's trying to attack Bulgaria. 
Okay, keep in mind one thing. We have uh, uh, tripled, let's say, the, the axis already one, when we decided to attack Romania, because now they don't have this valid ally. Anyways, oh man, man. Really, 10 factor is going to US, wow. So, Lessons of War will be available in one year. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, uh, go for the ground support, so still Air Force. And now that I have a 45, I'm going here to the production, and I create a builded armor vehicle, an improved medium tank, and I'm going to give uh, as a small armament an improved small cannon level 2, medium turret 3 men, Engine 10, this is giving uh, a lot of speed, 10 kilometers per hour, reliability is still 108, and uh, armor, it is what it is, uh, radio, level 3, secondary turret, heavy machine gun, special models, let me see, I want to give, I want to give, Um, a stabilizer is giving more breakthrough, not bad. And uh, another breakthrough one, breakthrough two with a small cannon and less armor. Well, our armor is not that good, but we will be fast. So we would have a reliability of 99%, speed of 10, soft attack 22, hard attack 17, piercing 50, hardness 85, armor 36. And this is gonna cost us, uh, that's quite good. Okay, let me do one another thing instead of this. Let's take, um, let's, let's take something else. I want to have the wet ammunition storage for 15% reliability and we increase the armor so that's fine. We have our T34 now. Let's take also some maximum speed plus 20 and armor I would say plus 50% is not bad. Save and now we try, we, we start building. 40. <laughs> 40 factories are going here now. Let's say 30 for the time being. Okay, we start moving 15 factories from the rest, building tanks, and uh, I probably will need also to change. This and this. Eh, uh, fine. Fine, okay. So now we don't have a template with those tanks, but we will have it soon. So in the October 1941, we finally start building our improved tanks, and we will, um, of course, introduce them first in our uh, divisions. We will change the divisions that we have. We'll have medium tanks uh, and, and light tanks. And then let's see. The Madran calls. <sighs> Not yet. Organization, non combat, auto supply, and so on. Oh, division attack and division defense is amazing. Um, let's take also more oil for the Madran. Why not? And as you can see, now we are boosting also our anti air. Great. But the Germans are moving many, many more troops here at the border, which is funny because they cannot just maintain them. Those, those units are, as you can see, they are losing their, they're losing their, uh, their, their, that's crazy. That's crazy, in my opinion. Uh, 
They're losing their organization. I mean, as soon as I will have my... By the way, having the fully cipher the crypto, then I can see also their troops is amazing. Having uh, uh, the, the tanks will definitely be helpful. Now we stop building the old infantry equipment, we build the new one. Um, I think I can encircle them and kick their uh, butt quite easily. But not yet. Now we, now we speed up and we let the winter pass. The first winter. And medium tanks, we have 13 of them. How many tanks are we building? Uh, I keep doing the same mistake, right? So far, 1.4 a day. It's nothing. Jesus. <laughs> we need 190 a day. No, I'm sorry. I'm joking. But uh, we need much more. Much more. We have the chromium. We have the steel. So with tanks, we are quite good. We can build them without uh, asking for support. Okay. I wanted also to deploy some more airplanes I as far as I remember. Or I wanted to do it in... I can't remember where. Let's put them here. Because there's the support. Perfect. Another 50 airplanes. And I think I can... Talking about airplanes, I can boost and have the fighter escort. Escort efficiency plus 25. Oh, that's quite, of, quite useless, I would say. For the time being, I don't have a lot of strategic bombers. What I could do... I could expand the mines. I have a lot of power. I could expand the, the steel mines. I will need them for the tanks. Ah, look at this. They keep trying. They keep trying. They, they are not so much out of supply, though. Wait a second, wait a second, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, wait a second. Look at this. They're really, they're really trying hard to push now. They really started the Barbarossa operation on the 30th of October, fully out of control. And the, and the battles last really seconds because they attack and they have literally zero organization. Man, what's going on here? What's going on here? I mean, I would be tempted to, to, to prepare a little trap or something. When I will have enough tanks, I will start training. Uh, okay, let's do one thing. Let's edit this one and duplicate it and have the T-34. The T-34. Uh, where I'm going to change this into armored medium. Medium. Same here. 25, I can do that. So far we save it, we will change it later. And we start training one of those. And of course we need more tanks, but we can already start the training. Uh, in the meantime, we produce the tanks. It seems quite fine. I want to see when they attack, they have a force air support, but they are against the force. They attack from multiple directions. We have an, a good intel advantage. Guys, the intel is giving us 12%. That's not so much. But... The enemy or superiority is <laughs> giving them only a 7.3%. The entrenchment is massive. The commander skill and the country are massive. That's, that's wonderful. Can I take a Rosakovsky as an armor genius? Yeah, but I need I need a mission for that. Wait a fucking minute. They pushed here. Wait a second. I, I didn't realize this. I am not even sure, honestly, I'm not sure if I was defending this area, but I push back. And I think we'll be able to take the control of this area once again. I must. 
I must because I cannot lose this, really. I must. Okay, stop. I... No, I really have the feeling that we just lost it here. Wow. How, how was it? How did it happen? How did it happen? Okay, improved anti air. Wonderful. Let's work on the artillery. Okay, three civilian factories. What can I do? More sieve. Nah. I mean, it's not going to be that expensive, and why not? Ah, come on. Perfect. What is this? Ah, Bulgaria and the, re uh, and the rest is Italy. Probably, looks like. Unfortunately, we lose the control in Ukraine. Now, I can't, I really cannot understand how Germany could push in this area, which is uh, highly defended. I think I forgot the fallback line, it looks like. Even if I can't remember. But now it's November. Uh, they started uh, attacking as much as they can with a very, very low organization. It looks like a suicide to me. And uh, we let them come. We let them come. Fine. Sim as simple as that. Let's take more recon and let's have a look at the tanks now we need 140 yeah okay we're not building a lot of them right yeah now the anti-air is also fine fighters are good infantry equipment it's okay yeah, I, I think I would try to focus as much as possible and build tanks. By the way, I'm going to change already this one and have also the motorized recon and save it. And probably also more medium tanks. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. We will need a lot of those, but uh, uh, those units would be fantastic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will stop here. Let's just have a look. We lost 247,000 men. Germany in Soviet Union lost 500,000 men, uh, which is not bad. Let's look at the axis in general, because Italy lost against the UK 1 million. Wow! Wow, Italy is doing quite bad. Pity that we didn't lose. Oh no, wait a second. We can give the staggered retreat option now, and I'm, I'm not going to 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 forget it. Ah oh, man, less than f what? Why I cannot do that? I think I I I think I I cannot do that because I need some other prerequisite. I guess. Fine. Anyways, I, I we are keeping very, very well. It's November of the 41, probably in the next episode, as soon as we have the tanks, we will try to push back and see if we can create some areas of, uh, you know, uh, sucks and uh, destroy divisions. Probably that's what we are going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.